What's up guys, Ton Ton here and welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna have a look at the Transformer Studio Series Bumblebee Deluxe Class Ironhide. So to make this as clear as possible, yeah I learned from my lesson from the Earthrise Ratchet in the past and yeah they are the same toys. So in this video I am not going into the specific specs and review of this guy because this is essentially the same toy as the Deluxe Class Ratchet that I have reviewed before. So today we're gonna have a comparison between the painting of the two figures because I think that is essentially the ideas of why would you purchase this figure. What are the difference and are they good or are they bad? And if you are not a hardcore fan which it will complete the whole line then which one should you choose? Yeah I have made that clear so let's begin. And here we have Iron High next to Ratchet and Obviously, they are the same toy. What are the differences? So, from now, I think I'm gonna go into specific details right now. So, first up is the head. Okay, so here, here we have the head of Ratchet and the head of Ironhide. So, back when I got this guy, I was expecting, expecting some different head. But then, when I held him in my hand, this is essentially the same mold. So, the painting of the face are the same. They have the same light pipings and... The only difference is the colors. So one is white and one is red. And for some reasons, okay, so Ratchet got his horn, his fin painted red, and where Ironhide doesn't. I think that would make him look better. But one nice thing about this too is that if you look at the next section here, okay, from with Ratchet, the whole section is white. So that is like you miss a lot of nice mechanical detailing but for iron high here you see because of the red so you then then they decide to make the, the color the next sections gray so as you see you see a lot of new mechanical details over here and i absolutely enjoy this i wish that ratchet would have it but he doesn't so that is a shame but then okay they are the same toy in the end it can clearly be fixed by some paint but then again straight out this place i think iron high does a better job and then we move down to the torso section over here. So the same, this is the same toy. So they all get that same clear blue plastic chest. Although Iron High is a little bit darker in colors when compared to Ratchet. And they all got paint in red and white. And the difference here, of course, is the color. It is the shade of the plastic. And if you can see here, the central piece, the silver lining on that of Iron High is, I think it's better display than Ratchet. Because the color, the shade of the blue is darker, so it kind of pop up. Whether in the case of Ratchet, it is still kind of hard to see in some condition of light. And back to the lower part of the torso, as you can see, they're all nice painted here. Iron High somehow got more painted. They both have the gunmetal vent onto the abs, but Iron High, you got an extra paint section over here. So that is like a metallic paint instead of just the gunmetal. And by leaving that red vent in the middle, I think that it pops out really nice. I mean, even better than Ratchet, I must say. Moving to the arm section, and of course, the first thing I notice is the shoulders. As you see here, this is a, essentially a white piece of plastic that Ratchet got some red paint on it. Whether for Iron High, it is the same piece, m cast in grey. And in this, I would, I wish that Iron High get that line painted red as well. I think that it would look really cool on him. I think with the red line, he would look really cool. And I can understand why Hasbro skipped that. If you look at the lower arms here, and as you can see, they are painted, Iron High painted the upper part, and Ratchet is painted in the lower part. And I think they both they both look great, and some are uh, some great highlight. And for Iron High, I think the, the thing has, I have to point out is the color of the side of the arms. Four small details that cut painted in gunmetal, and I think that looks really awesome. I think that is some additional highlighting details that Hasbro gave us and essentially I wish that Ratchet got that because I think for the plain white it would look kind of boring but having this add-ons I think they look really really nice. And moving down to the hips and this is the part where I think that Iron High does a really better job because as you can see for Ratchet hips that is like all white from hips to thighs but for Iron High you actually got like gray then upper thighs red then lower thighs gray i think that section of red of the upper thighs just make the proportion of the figures look really good and i absolutely enjoy that that is like a really great detailing of them and down to the last part which is the leg 
and the legs are painted in the same way as the wheels. The wheels of Iron High are painted in a brighter silver, not that darker black of Ratchet. And in so, in my opinion, I I think that Ratchet does this better because that is like the color of the tire, whether the Iron High version is more like makeshift tires or something. Then he got also got painted in the inner wheels as well. That is for the transformation. They got the same treatment. But Ratchet is of course white and Iron High is red. And unfortunately, in the d lower legs, where Ratchet got his uh, armor lining painted, so some red and gray Iron High doesn't get any treatment like that. Uh, this is the part where I say that yeah, I can paint it by myself, and I will never do it. But for Iron High, we got a really pleasant surprise, which is the feet. The feet of Iron High got painted some really nice gunmetal color, and just highlight the whole thing. It's just like a more mechanical look to it and it highlights the details and I absolutely enjoy that and for the accessories well this is the same toy so they got the same gun even though if you look at Iron High gun is a darker it's a darker color than Ratchet's and to attach it and wearing it is the same thing you can check out my Ratchet reviews on that so now without further ado let's move to the articulation so the action and articulation begins with the head up a little bit and down a little bit and then do the full 360 um, we have the arm rotation. Arm moves out. Bicep swivel. Elbow bend. And the transformer type arm wrist. And you got a uh, swivel at the hips. And some movement here. Kick to the front. Kick to the back. Beautiful split. And this is the knee, the, you have the thigh swivel, knee bend, and a pivot. Okay. Yeah, like I have said, this is the same toy as Ratchet, so I'm not gonna comment on too much about the articulation of this guy. That, I mean, this is a decent recap of the transformation of the decent recap of the figures in the movie and for the Lux class, I think this is like a really great articulation. Now let's get to the transformation. Finishing transforming Iron High, and as you can see, this is essentially still the same thing that we have with Ratchet. So the, all the features are the same, and this is the storage of the gun. And of course, you can still plug it onto the top of the vehicle like this. And next up, for some color choice, and as you can see here, for Iron High, we got a brand new yellow marking onto the side of the vehicle. Whether that for Ratchet is just a red in the bottom. And this is really nice because I absolutely miss, miss this out in the robot mode and I would I wish that there are some more gold details appears in the robot mode and this is the part where the gray shoulders really makes a difference because as you see for the alternate mode the gray shoulders make Iron Heist look like he's carrying some kind of cargo and I love that for a mini truck if you can call it that. I really love this detail over here. And finally, and as you can see, the front rim of the vehicle got painted in the gray color, but the bottom doesn't. So this is kind of weird. I wish that they would do this for the both of the front and back tires. I wish that this is the case here. I think that it would make the vehicle looks better. So in summary, should you guess this guy? Well, I mean, if you are a hardcore fan and you're gonna complete the whole Cybertronian line, yeah, definitely get this one here because this is a really nice mode and uh, figures. But if this is the case where you would just want to have one figures of one specific mode, I think this is up to which color do you prefer, you know, white or red? That is just the case here for Iron High and Ratchet. You can either have one of those or just have both like I did, because actually this is a really great mode. And so that will be it for today, guys. So I will see you guys later. Tonton out. Ton out.